In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can record from the new version of Skype. This is roughly what the new version of Skype looks like. And we want to record a conversation into Hindenburg. Now, the way that we can do that is to use Soundflower. The way Soundflower works is we can route the sound from one application to another. In this case, I've gone to the audio settings inside Skype and I want to route the speaker sound not to the speakers, but to Hindenburg. There's nothing here that says Hindenburg, but the way I do it is to choose Soundflower. This means that Skype is now playing out through Soundflower. Think of Soundflower as a cable now going from Skype to, well, to nowhere yet because we haven't set it up in Hindenburg. So now we go back to Hindenburg and on our channel 2, I'm going to choose Soundflower. So effectively what I've done now is taken a cable directly from Skype into Hindenburg. The reason why I wanted to put it on track 2 is this is where I want to record my Skype conversation. And on track 1, that will be me. So what I've set up right now is I want to record me on one track and Skype on the other. To do a recording, I need to arm the tracks first. Arming the tracks is done by clicking this button here. And as we can see, we now have input on this channel. The same goes for Soundflower. But if I only press the button here, I won't necessarily be able to hear what's going on before I record it. So if I want to hear what the other person on Skype is saying before I start recording, I need to monitor what's coming into the track. For that, I put Record Monitor on. Sorry about the tooltip, but it says Record Monitor on. Right now there's nothing here, and that's because we haven't called anyone yet. So let's try and do that. Hello. Hello there, Martin. This is Nick. We're doing a tutorial right now. Oh, great. What can I do for you? I was just wondering if you can hear me at your end. I hear you fine. And I can hear you. Now I'm going to start the recording. So you can see that on one track, I've got myself and Martin on the other. Say something, Martin. Hello there, Nick. Well, this is going to be a very short conversation, isn't it? Well, what would you like to talk about? Well, how about breakfast? Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. Now, in this way, we can go back and forth. And as you can see, I'm on the one track and Martin is on the other. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. And when I'm finished with the conversation, I can just press stop. And Hindenburg will now automatically set the levels for me. So this is how you can do a Skype recording with a new version of Skype within Hindenburg.